Your apprentice was found wanting. I'm sorry. Fool boy. Hope for the worst and you will not be disappointed. Thank you for the news. Wow, Hedrick. You've had a pretty bad day. First your wife, now your apprentice. Sucks to be you. Alright, back to the cemetery we go. By the way, welcome to episode 5 of Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition for PlayStation 4. I am Go Burns. Welcome, welcome. We are playing with the Crusader. And her name, in case you were wondering or cared, is Kara. And that is because why? Why? Let me know below in the comment section. That'll let me know that you've been watching the series, because I've mentioned it a couple times already. But if you don't know, well, go back and watch some of the other episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can find here. In the... Ah, skeletons! No, it's a skeleton ambush! Ste skeleton archers! Oh, shit! That's a mean one, too. Yeah, he's gonna die, you bastard. Motherfucker. Down you go, skeleton! Almost got him, almost got him! Come on, come on, come on, Kara! Ah, shit! No, I didn't, I didn't spoil it, did I? I just said her name, I didn't tell you why I named her Kara. Or was that, was that the bet? Yeah, it was the bet, damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just so, uh, <laughs> driven by the blood rage here, fighting one skeleton after the next in the cemetery, that, what, what, what was it? I think I said her name. I think I told you her name, but if I did, okay, so let's back up, okay? We're going to back up real quick. All right, so I already obviously told you my crusader's name, Kara. You have to tell me where I got the name from, from, uh... You know, what show? Oh, damn it, I did it again! I'm just throwing out spoilers, hints. Alright, so that's all I'm gonna do. When King Leoric came to court, he brought many nobles with him. And nobles, oddly enough, want noble crypts. So I showed up with my shovel, thinking to make easy profit by digging a few holes. Ha! There's no stopping their demands around here. Now, I eat. Sleep and breathe dirt, it seems. You're the grave digger. That's right. Sucks to be a grave digger, especially on in sanctuary where they don't have bulldozers or backhoes. That would suck ass. It would still kind of suck to work at a cemetery, though. If all those dead bodies around. Well, it's not like they're going to come up from the grave and attack you like they do in this game. <laughs> So I guess you don't really care for the living or being bothered by the annoying fads of the populace and their uh, first world problems. I guess working at a cemetery isn't so bad. Down we go to door number one. Let's see what we can find down here. Any goodies? Any treats? Any treasures? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Ah! Another skeleton ambush! Damn skeletons. Ah, another skeleton boss! It's a uh, Druid Brown! Die, Druid! Take that, bitch! Man, you're no match to a Crusader! What was that fool thinking? Trying to go toe to toe with a badass bitch like Kara. No fuck with Kara. Damn bats. Hate bats. It's all over the place. Nice. 
Man, we're just tearing shit up in this crypt. Oh, yeah. So, have you had a chance to play Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition yet? What are your thoughts? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's better or worse than the PC version? Let me know below in the comment section. Ah, bastards. Yeah, slugs! It's a slug fest! Akarat favors me! I'm kicking all kinds of ass. You know one thing I still have yet to do is go through my skills and see if I got any upgrades. I probably do. Eh, I'll do that in between episode 5 and 6. I wouldn't want to sit around boring you. Or will I? <laughs> you never know with me. I'm trying not to do that though. I'm trying to leave all that stuff. You know, buying and selling and looking over items and skills and stuff. In between videos. Because it is kind of boring. You're just sitting there going, okay, what do I got to look at here? Okay, this weapon is better than that weapon. This skill is better than that one. And I'm not one to make a quick decision. I have to look over the stats and I have to say, okay, do I, do I prefer an axe over a sword or a spear or a javelin? What makes me feel better? Ghosts! Oh no! Call the Ghostbusters! Damn ghosts! I ain't afraid of no ghosts. So you think they're ever gonna make uh, Ghostbusters 3? I know that Harold Ramis unfortunately passed away a few months ago. And now this new director is supposed to be doing, what, a reboot? That's the rumor? He's gonna recast it with all female actresses to play the role of a uh, Ghostbusters? Now look, I'm not gonna come across as sexist here. I don't have a problem with you know, one or two female Ghostbusters, but I think it's a bad idea to A, reboot Ghostbusters, and B, make the entire staff all, all of them Ghostbusters. I think they should have a couple male characters, a couple female characters, you know, mix and match them. They don't all have to be like Janine. You know, Janine is tasty. Oh, yeah. In fact, Janine is the name of my uh, character in Grand Theft Auto Online. That's what I named her after. <laughs> Janine and Ghostbusters. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, honestly, if they never make a sequel, I think I can live with it. Because I consider the Ghostbusters video game that came out a couple years ago to be the uh, third movie. Because it had all, all three, all, I mean, all, actually it had several actors, not just you know, Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, Dan Aykroyd, and Harold Ramis, but it had Annie Potts, who played Janine, and it had William Atherton, who played Peck, and uh, who else was in that? Oh, uh, Bill Murray's brother, his brother plays the mayor, FYI, just in case you not Not the mayor in the first two Ghostbuster movies, there's a different mayor in the Ghostbuster movie, okay? Because the Ghostbuster movie, I think, takes place a couple years after Ghostbusters 2. I think it's set in 1991, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong about that. So before we go down there, let's do what we always do and go do a little bit of exploring, shall we? Yeah, just to make sure that we got everything. It's always good. Check every nook and cranny. But like I said, I don't have a problem with there being female characters as Ghostbusters. That's cool. I mean, they let Louis Tully be a Ghostbuster in episode in uh, part two. I thought that was stupid. <laughs> I mean, even though I love Rick Moranis, I, I just never saw his character as a Ghostbuster. <laughs> uh, man, I am such a nerd. <laughs> uh, after all these years, you know, I think it's sad that that uh, Bill Murray is probably not going to do the third Ghostbuster movie. I think he should. I mean, he does all these other movies. I mean, what, Life Aquatic? I mean, that was kind of a weird film. I mean, I have it on DVD, but it's still weird. He, he does a lot of weird stuff lately. But he, he's not willing to do Ghostbusters 3 for some reason. He should do it, you know? Just come back, bite the bullet, Bill, and just do Ghostbusters 3. Your fans want you to do it. 
and you're going to get a paycheck. You get to play Pete Bakeman one more time. And you get to team up with, you know, Ernie Hudson and, of course, Dan Aykroyd. Because I think at least if it's three of them that are still around, I think that, that they could still do it. But, I mean, I know that Harold Ramis was a very vital part. He was one of the writers. Plus, you know, who else could be Egon besides Harold Ramis? I mean, come on. <laughs> It's going to be difficult without him because he was the brains. He was the inventor. He was the one that had all the, the dry humor. But, I don't know. I mean, if they do it right, then they should do a third Ghostbusters. But anyways, we're still talking about Ghostbusters. So, what, what do you think? Uh, do you think they should do a third Ghostbusters or do you think they should let Ghostbusters uh, rest in peace? Because you know they're not going to. Even... Even if they don't do an actual third Ghostbusters movie, unfortunately they probably will eventually do a reboot, just like they always do. And you know what? Chances are the reboot's gonna suck. Most of these reboots do suck. Most of them are horrible. I just wonder why they even bother. I don't know. I just don't get it. I mean, I, know, I, know, I do get it. It's about the, the freaking money, isn't it? It's not about, hey, you know, I think a reboot of this would be a great idea because, you know, I think there's a new story to tell. Yeah, just like, you know, the reboot of Nightmare on Elm Street. Even though I like Jack Earl, you know, he's a great actor, I just, he's, he's no Robert England. He is no Robert England, and honestly, there were some things, some elements in the reboot of Nightmare on Elm Street that I liked, but overall, it, it just didn't live up to the original. And I know Jack Earl did the best he could, but I'm sorry, like I said, you're no Robert England, sir. Down to Crypt 2! That's right! The crown is close. Ah, oh, so we got it right! So we went through door number two, and we're about to get to the crown. Sweet! I did not realize that. That is freaking awesome. Of course, not so much, because I think we have to fight the Chancellor. We have to take on the Chancellor! So do you think Cajun's going to be just as torn up about us having to take on his grandfather as, uh... Oh shit, what the fuck is that? It's like, a, it's like Doomsday! It's like Doomsday from fucking Superman! Die, Doomsday! Ah, I got Doomsday! <laughs> Man, that's scary. <laughs> so, like I was saying, do you think Cajun's going to be torn up as we go into the Chancellor's tomb about us having to kill his, uh see his uh, grandfather again as you know us having to kill his wife and of course finding out his apprentice was dead like I said Adrian's having a pretty bad day we should go easy on him you know he's just still in shock and disbelief about all this that's going on dead rising from the grave the fallen star destroying well honestly the cathedral was already wrecked pretty bad I mean, let's just be honest so. patience Gotta take these guys out. Alright, so as long as this bastard's still up, they're gonna keep respawning. Come on. Got him! <laughs> Goodbye, ghost. Bastards. Well, speaking of ghost movies, I heard that they were gonna uh, reboot Poltergeist also, like a. What was that a few months back? I heard about that. God, I'm sick and tired of reboots. Reboots suck. Just go and watch the original. I mean, yeah, I know the special effects aren't as good as they are today. But you know what? The acting's a lot better and the script was a lot better. Along with the plot. Don't go into the light, Marianne! Don't go into the light! That was Caroline, not Marianne. <laughs> that was Gilligan's Island. <laughs> so are you a, a Marianne or a Ginger fan? Okay, so that's when we go back up. Alright, so 
We're going to kill the Chancellor and we're going to wrap up Episode 5. Uh, if we kill the Chancellor. He could kill us. You never know how this is going to go down. Will Kara succeed in getting the crown from the Chancellor? Or will she die a painful death? Tune in now. <laughs> ah. No. I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Look, I have no choice. I gotta bring him back to life so I can kill him. I know that doesn't make any damn sense, but hey. Technically, he's already alive, so... Almost got him. Come on, die, Chancellor! I <laughs> gotcha. He dies. Alright, so now we can get the uh, crown. Hells yeah. The crown is mine. Sweets. Alright, hit the like button if you're enjoying the series. Episode 6 will be up tomorrow. So be sure and tune in for daily episodes of Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition for PlayStation 4. Be sure and check out my channel because I post content daily, seven days a week. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and also the Facebook page for you to like as well. And, well, I'll see you tomorrow for episode 6. And as always, thanks for watching.